School is out, but that doesn't mean the learning has to halt. Buckle up, because today we're going on a field trip. We're headed to Philadelphia's Mütter Museum. And this collection is not for the weak of heart. We have things you will never see anywhere else. A gangrenous hand, diseased eyeballs, enlarged colons. We have a particularly interesting collection of things people swallow. We have parts of Einstein's brain. Here, it's all things medical. This is the place to come to explore what it means to be human. And given that this is the stuff on display, just imagine what's in the bowels. Today, we're going to have a special behind the scenes tour just for you. You are in one of the storage areas in the basement of the Mütter Museum. These were created to show physicians stages in the progress of smallpox. We have dermatologists come here to look at them because there's nothing else, no photograph, no 3D representation on a computer screen that shows the skin as well as wax. Wax even sweats, so it even behaves like skin sometimes. In the next room, we call the bone room. This is a library of bone, human and animal. Dr. Thomas Mütter, who started our collection, began the museum with a collection that he had assembled. So we have mostly examples of pathological anatomy, relatively few examples of what's normal. It's because the physicians all knew what normal looked like. What they didn't know was the pathological, the unusual, the atypical or abnormal. This is where you get diseased organs. Remember, until fairly recently, there was no way to conduct any imaging of the body. You couldn't see in. So you had to wait till someone died to see what actually things look like inside. We have a cross-section of this head. Uh, this is one of Dr. Mütter's original specimens showing the damage that diabetes can cause. So this specimen's over 150 years old. And they're all a challenge to maintain because you can never be entirely sure what preservative fluid is in these jars. Hmm, this is 100% sugar, folks. This is a sugar sculpture that was used for an event here. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cabinet of Death. Shall I open it? You sure? All right. This cabinet contains what we call corrosion specimens. This specimen is a real human hand. You can see fingernails. Colored wax had to be injected in these blood vessels. And acids were used to dissolve the flesh that the physician didn't need for the model. The cabinet of death is closed to the public. But a fully preserved arm is on permanent display in the museum. Sometimes it's said that our collection is freakish or weird or strange, but to us, this place is disturbingly informative. Check the website for hours. Oh, and do you have a favorite science spot? Leave us a suggestion for our next Science Sojourn on our website. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.